Hello, my Facebook or who cuz you hear my accent? Check this out. So I have just uh, I'm getting ready to start back on my infused waters. Some of you remember I used to drink them a couple of years ago. I haven't done them in a while, but I remember um, being asked a few times, "What's in it? What's in it? What's in it?" So today I'm gonna do a quick video, real quick. I'm just to show you some of the ingredients inside of the infused water that I drink. Um, first of all, there is lemon. Um, I don't have the measurements for you today, uh, but cut up some lemon and put it in there at the bottom. How bad? Um, there's also cucumber. I don't know which camera I'm looking at, but cucumber. There is also, um, hold on. Oh, these. Mm -hmm. These are uh, lime, little lime things. Can you see that? And then, um, of course, most importantly, there is this. Mm, smell that. Mm. This is fresh mint that I just got from the grocery. Um, so what I do, I don't really have exact measurements for you, so I'm not even going to make that up um, and have you uh, choking and going on. The so one thing I will caution you on is the mint. This stuff is so strong, super, so strong. So I recommend that you take maybe about three or four small pieces. Um, I use this bottle, which I think it's about a... Um, what is this? A 16.9 um, ounce bottle, the Voss bottle. You don't have to use this bottle. My OCD requires me to use it or I feel like I'm not doing the right thing. <laughs> but here you go. So um, let me try to give you a close up on one of these. Let's see, how about here? So um, I put all of the ingredients in, the ingredients in, and then you need some water for your daughter. Illegally here. Um, I just use the regular uh, crystal geyser water and what we do I'm gonna move this for a minute I'm acting like you can't figure this part out on your own, but I'm gonna help you Larry gonna help you today. Thank you master <laughs> Take your water up, And then you just begin to fill up your bottles Just like that mm -hmm. I'll probably skip through this. You don't need to watch me fill up every bottle, but I do fill them up um Probably gonna need a second bottle here. So give me a moment. Hallelujah. And we fill them up. Look how pretty that is. Go ahead and fill up your bottles. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And then once you have uh, filled each of your bottles, Trying to put it in view so you can clearly see. Once you have filled each of your bottles, I know you hear all that traffic. I got my windows open. Dang it, I still need another bottle. Oh, wait, I have an extra Voss bottle that I had not used. So let's go ahead and put some of that in there to top it off. Okay, there we go. And so what I do is I take these and I freeze them. This part is not required, but to me, it makes it taste better when it's really, really cold. Okay, so I just put my tops on there. And a little trick that I learned later in the game is to freeze them on their side. When I first started, I would do it like straight up like this and then either everything would freeze at the top or down at the bottom and the flavor was not consistent throughout. But what I've noticed is if you freeze it like this, see how everything kind of made its way to the middle? If you freeze it like this, then you will have a, um, like an equal level of taste going on there, okay? So that's the Voss bottle. It is quite delightful. Um, try it out. Um, if you want me to make you one, because I'm not a store, maybe I can help you out. Okay. Um, all right. See you later. I got to go. Bye.